Uh, uh, my seven minutes is this. And I've had conversations with Simon this before and, and the other Simon and Bill. The, Michael Gove today announced there will be a switch in teacher education from uh, higher education. Currently, 85% of, tr of teachers are trained in higher education. They do a PGCE and then they go into schools, get jobs and do their probationary year. <coughs> the government's intention, because he's... Michael Gove is not happy with initial teacher education in some universities, is to shift that emphasis. And he's formed a network of teaching schools, and I'm the chair of the Teaching Schools National Tech, New Technology Advisory Board. Because the teaching schools themselves need an awful lot of help. The criteria for the teaching schools are that they need to be, uh, eventually you'll see it when it comes up here, they need to be outstanding teaching, they need to have grade ones in leadership, etc., etc. And over the next few years, uh, the emphasis, the priorities will change. So that's what teaching schools do. That's who can be teaching schools. And it's got enormous implications for your work. And that's why I wanted to set the conference off and I'm grateful to Bill, to Simon to be writing me down. Uh, it's absolutely critical that we in the teaching schools and you in CAS work together. Because as this transition takes place, I mean, just as a matter of interest, the teaching schools that we've got here, the alliance that you're in, just give us an indication. Which teaching school is it? And who was in the alliance with you? It's not... Just one high school? Two, two high schools. Any primary schools? No primary schools. Special educational needs? We have a primary, West Dean primary. Um, okay. Dorothy Springer School in Brighton. Okay. Any Prus or special educational needs or anything? So, teaching schools, the one in my local uh, constituency where I live is Altrincham Girls Grammar School. Because it gets outstanding in everything, but I have to tell you that the ICT is crap. So the big issue, and I've, d I've done a bit of research, less than 30% of the first 100 teaching schools have any expertise in the ICT excellence mark, or not that that necessarily means anything. So the big issue for teaching schools is, how do we build up the capacity so that teaching schools can prepare the next generation of teachers with the right skills that we need for third millennium teaching and learning. And that's exactly the same challenge that you've got. And it just does not make sense for CAS to be doing their own thing and for the teaching schools to be doing their own thing. There's a hundred been, there's a hundred already out. Another hundred start in September. There will be 500 before the next general election. And so I've been asked by the DFE and the teaching schools to put together this group of people. Simon and Bill are both on it. So my plea in my seven minutes is, for goodness sake, if you don't know where your teaching schools are and you are going to be a CAS Centre of Excellence, we're going to do everything we can to make sure we work together. Simon and Bill and the other Simon and me are going to work together to make sure that the funding streams complement each other rather than competing with each other. Thank you very much indeed.